Hello YouTube, hello my subscribers, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, welcome to the show, 12 Door Dash F here, I'm Marcus, and my son is having dinner with his mother tonight, so that's awesome, and so let's begin today's video, where this is part four, I want to say, of this HyperGo build, uh, let me see if I have the uh, bodies to show you, for those of you who don't know what the car looks like, Here's the here's the go and black body of the hyper go four wheel drive. That's the gold body, and here's the black body, which is cool. I like that black body. It looks really good of the hyper go 114 scale, and it's um to, the uh, item number is 14210. Okay, if you want to go check it out, look it up. So, uh, if you've been following the channel, I've been doing um episodes of parts of this um rebuild. Oh, not a rebuild. It's more of a rear differential discovery of what's broken figuring out how to fix it and uh if i need to buy new parts if i need to use this vehicle as parts uh and stay to the end of the video because i have a special um uh special something special for you guys towards the end um so let's just go ahead and dive into this video and what you see here is the axle and the drive train um part that's been taken off. And what I'm gonna do is kind of walk you through how to put it together. Um, if you had, um, how to put it together. Um, say you haven't got to that journey of your um, uh, RC hobby yet of taking it apart, building it, um, repairing it, you know, maintenance on it. Let me take you through it first. So if for those of you who already know, thanks for tuning in and thanks for coming back for all of you new Comers and viewers, welcome to the channel, and here we go. So this is a broken piece here, but we can use it to give a good demonstration on how to assemble it back together. And let me give you the piece that's broken. So this is broken, okay? A pin, it goes in it, and here's the pin. Let me show you the pin that goes through that. So you have this piece, and this piece. And it's gonna be a long video, guys. Happy Friday, so go ahead and get your popcorn and your drinks and sit down and enjoy it. Okay, so this pin will will go, if I can get that rolled in, right in there, see that? It go right in that hole there. Okay, so it broke on my bash um, a while back, and I took it apart, and, I, and that's what I discovered. So that you, there you have it there. And this, let me show you the car that's all kinda taking apart here, working on the rear diff, and the front diff is in there somewhere, so it's all apart on this side. Okay, so now let's go back to putting it together. You got a grub screw, and also when I took it apart, I lost a grub screw, okay? So how to put it back together, you're gonna have to slide this in, and bring it up close, slide this in, see if you can still be, hope it'll zoom in, See now, and what I like to do is kind of see if I get it in just right. Take one of my tools here, um, get like a, I got like a 1.5 millimeter and kind of stick it in, jostle it around a little bit to make sure that hole matches up with all the holes matching up. So then what, I, what I'm gonna do is grab a pin. So as you got so many different pins. So this is the pin to hold this part together and this, this is the housing of the of the spider gears. So that goes in there, okay? So, sorry guys if I'm all over the place. Hope I'm not confusing you. So, now you got a pin to hold this part into the drive train here, okay? So, we're gonna put that in there. So we're gonna put it in there. So we're gonna jiggle it around. Hope it goes in there nice and snug like I need it to but I'm on camera so it probably won't so it would go in there let me see let me see let me see let me see I would like to get it smooth for you guys let me see if I can pull this out and redo it let me see if I can get it right uh thumbs up thumbs down that notification guys and subscribe to the channel is free let me get a small one so I can move it down some it just right see that it goes through see what can you see it go through 
Just a little bit there. There. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Let me see if I get this pin in it now. Throw in there smoothly, but anywho, let's keep it moving. Okay, bring it down so you can see that light. For some reason, my light just went out. I hate when that happens. So, the pin will go in all the way down flush. And guess what? Uh, you know, when you get on camera, for some reason, <laughs> it doesn't want to act right. <laughs> so, then you get your grub screw, and your grub screw, you're gonna have to use a point uh 2.0 millimeter so you're gonna get grab that all right no editing just gonna go right into it and you're gonna plug it in here go all the way down through it flush and you can use some loctite metal or metal use some loctite now this would be smooth and flush all the way down if i could have got it in like i wanted to on camera um, and then it's snug, it won't come out. Okay, so let's just reverse. Take the grub screw it out, grub screw out. There it is right there, boom. And then take the pin out, boom. And then you can take this piece out. All right, and there you have it, okay? So the ideal is to get this pin in there like that okay that pin inside of that hole there okay so the pin will have to go through that this hole this hole let me see can see that hole and that hole okay so that's how that works but that's what I found was broken, okay? And losing the grub screw. And that's the assembly of the um, HyperGo. And um, this is this is a new, usually it's CVDs and dog bones. This is a new drivetrain axle thing that I'm getting accustomed to and this is new to me. So there you have it, in case you've never seen one before. But that's what the drivetrain is, okay? All right, so got that done. What else do I want to show you? Oh, yeah. Okay, up next. So these screws, let me pull some screws out and show you. These black screws that come with it. Hold one second. Go ahead and grab you something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. All right, so these screws... They bend and break very easy. These come from the factory, okay? Boom. So the reason why I said that is because now we have some screws that has snapped off and the screw is still in the plastic, but it's snapped off. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So, um, and now I'm having to try to screw them out and all I was doing is turning. So what I'm gonna have to do is kind of poke it out, hopefully, without hurting myself. And see if it's sal if I can salvage it, which I doubt I can. I might just put it to the side and continue working on it later at a later date, okay? But once you get this vehicle, you're gonna have this problem unless you want to go out and take all this, take all these black screws off, and start putting in your um, st stainless steel um, screws. Um, and this right, this right here is, and then they're Phillips heads too. So those of you who don't know, there's a Phillips head all around the truck. Phillips heads, Phillips head, Phillips heads. Most vehicles come with hexes, hex screws, but this one don't. Okay, so just want you to let you know that they break very easy. All right, so what's next on the agenda? Um, yeah, another piece, this was to the, um, uh, piece that held the spoiler, held my spoiler, and I can't seem to find my spoiler, but anyway, the spoiler sits up top on here, and this goes in the back, uh, 
like so. See, it sits like this, the spool is on top. And now we have chart of screws stuck in here, okay? And there's no way to get the ch chart of screws out of this. Leave in the comments um, down below if you know a way of getting the chart of broken screws out of these holes. But I think it's, you know, pretty much garbage. I think you just, you know, go ahead and throw it away. So that's what I want to tell you on that one. Um, what else? And so for, th for you guys who stay to the end. Oh, yeah. These right here. These pins go into your tire. You know, this pin goes into there. And then this insert hex hub insert goes into here. Okay. And then, um, you know, it's kind of starts into, goes all in there, comes out there. Then you put your, then you're going to put this on. Boom. So little, little tips, tips, little tips, tricks. For those who just get into the hobby, now you know. Just remember you got pins, okay? And there are different size pins too, so be careful, all right? And that's the tire that comes. This is a, this is a go, Happer Go. Um, uh, I can't, I'm not sure what that says on here to tell you what kind of tire it is, I apologize. I'll do some more research and kind of give you some more detail on the tire. But it's a nice compound tire, it's vented, has holes in it. Um, I like these tires. And these tires come out of the factory, so this comes with the vehicle. This is not have to mark or anything there. Um, and let me take you off of here and just kind of move you around and show you there's the spider gears. Another thing I found when I was taking off the spider gears, these are the spider gears here. The pin that holds the spider gears on, on them are bent. Is it they're bent. So those are garbage. I'm not gonna even try to bend them back for those events. So this is another discovery and figure out. You gotta go real deep. Once you get a um a big bash and you turn one wheel, the other wheel don't turn. Nine seven ten is gonna be your something's wrong with the um the rear diff, the front something around the diffs. And there you have it right here, guys. Those right there are bent. Those are good, but those are bad. All right, so keep moving on. What I have on the table here, um, just to open up the diffs. Um, and you got the and, and bearings here. Got bearings on top of that one. And I think you have a bearing here, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, there's another piece of the spider gear here. Piece there. And this right here, this goes in the, this goes, so if that was attached, these was attached that will go in there okay and um and then you'll assemble all that together so not to make this video longer than it already is i just want to kind of recap of that what i got on the table here and let me put you back in the stand here so about that guys hold steady hold steady okay there and let me move some stuff over for you guys and i'll bring over the special Surprise, there we have it. I was looking around, I knew I had one, and the reason why I have a whole new car, because when I bought, the first one I bought off Amazon, and I think it was uh, around less than $200, okay? And then I went to Ala, Ala Express, and I think they had this one less than 150 so I was like, oh, wow, okay. So this was around, once. the first one was around 175, 200 to 175, and this one was less um, than 150, somewhere around that frame. I think it was closer to 100, really. Um, so anywho, I got it. I'm glad I got it. So now I'm gonna use this broken piece here, the broken one here that I got all mangled, taken apart as parts for the new one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a series or episodes of parts to this one. I'm gonna take it off and go ahead, take it, take the diffs out, uh, oil them up. And also what I'm gonna do on this one is change out the springs. They come with uh, tighter, tighter springs and also longer springs. So let me tell you a little bit about the springs since we're talking about springs. 
So these are longer, these are shorter. Shorter shocks and shorter springs, okay? So let me take you off of here and show you. All right, so let me bring you a little closer. All right, so let me see, look. Look how, look how it sits, okay? The back is longer, droops more than the front because there are longer springs and longer shocks than the front, okay? So now what they do give you is these. And these are str uh, stronger than the, the ones that are on it now and longer, okay? And what I'm gonna do is put all four around, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I, I think that's gonna be cool. And then I'm gonna change, look at the oil, if they have oil in them, and I'm gonna change the oil as well. But I might do a test on, does just changing the shock make a difference in what the factory oil that's in there? You know, you know what I'm saying? So put these shocks on, leave the factory oil alone and try that. And then go back and do the shocks and my my um, um, customized oil job, um, um, shock oil job, okay? And yes, it does come with a battery, so that's pretty cool. And I don't think it, I think it's 2S. Let me see if I can get it out there for you. Hold tight. They usually just give you a 2S. But this thing is capable of 3S. So yeah, it's a 2S. 25C. Uh, 7.4 volt, 3,000 ma. So yeah, there you have it. Haven't ran yet, brand new. And so that's the special gift you got today for sticking around to the end of the video. And um, so yeah, and some more parts over here that I took off the um, other vehicle. Uh, so we use those as part. I think those are okay. So good. So so it's just, so it's just I got parts in case this one, um, which it which it will break in some form of fashion. I just hope it doesn't break with the the differentials because you only get a rear diff and a front diff. Um, and the best thing you can do. Last thing I'm going to tell you, tips and tricks. When you first get it, go into your divs and check them. And put your own customized oil in there. And um, grub screws. Get your Loctite. Get some Loctite on your grub screws. Um, so learn here. Learn from me. Learn from my mistakes. And so you can stay on the uh, beaten, running, beaten, the, the bashing path. Jumping, flipping your RC, less time on this table. Okay? Uh, I think that'll do it, guys. I'm going to clean up, wrap up, and um, yeah, that's it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe. Check the playlist. And I think this will do it, guys. You know, um, I do have two other videos I've done on this. I think this is um, f um, part four or five. I'll put it on the title, let you know which one it is. And then I have some bonus footage um, that I have for you guys as well. So I'm going to put that up there as well. Um, so yeah, that's concluded this video. Peace. Um, happy Friday. Stay bashing. Stay running. And stay having fun. Have <laughs> fun and fantastic. I'm Marcus, 12th Door Dash. Yeah, we out. Peace.